Hello everyone, so what you are currently seeing here is the first build of Android 4.4.2 KitKat for the Galaxy S4 Mini LTE. Unfortunately, the 3G and those variants still haven't received uh, a firmware, but the LTE has. And by the way, this is a carrier branded firmware and it is actually meant for the Black Edition. Still, regardless, you can flash the firmware and it should work just fine. So I have also removed the Knox bootloader by the way, so uh, be assured that you can remove the Knox bootloader so you won't have anything Knox related on your phone. Anyways, let's set up the, the phone now and take a quick look and see what kind of changes we have. So I'm gonna choose English United States. And okay, so here is something new, smart network switch, automatically switch between Wi-Fi and mobile networks to maintain a stable internet connection. We didn't used to get this option before on 4.2.2 firmwares, but actually now as you can see we get this option. So let me just turn on my Wi-Fi now and connect to my network. So here we have some agreements, I'm just gonna agree, if you want you can read these. If I have a Google account, I'm gonna add this later, uh, make it Google, nope whatever next I'm gonna type in my name here it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna choose these uh, random letters and finally we have set up the phone so as you can see the first thing which you may have noticed is the white status bar icons which is a must uh, for any new ROM as you may have seen on the Galaxy S4 the note and so on so here we have the same old options as being voice control smart stay I'm just gonna leave adapt display enabled here for, for me and finally finish so as you can see you have the same wallpaper such as the Galaxy S5 has and uh, as usual we have the preset widgets here by Samsung let's take a look at the notification screen so uh, the the toggle icons as you can see look a bit different this yeah they definitely look, look different Though the icons for the browser and uh, the dialer, the contacts, the messages do seem to look like the old ones on the Jelly Bean firmware. So there is really nothing fancy as you can see, uh, pretty much just the same like on the Jelly Bean firmware, you don't have any additional options I believe, at least any applications. So we still have the same old story album, please down applications, TripAdvisor, this hello app here is from the carrier by the way. We have Samsung apps, let's take a quick look at the music player. Um, it kind of looks different I believe, let me just play a song and uh, see if we have any options here, let me get into settings, so yeah now we have uh, above adapt sound we have music menu, so yeah definitely some additional options uh, here and there, and some of the icons actually look a bit different if you, uh, if you look closely, for example the my files one, anyways Let's uh, leave the visual changes, let's take a look at the settings. So here we have the same old settings, nothing new from the looks of it. At least if uh, you don't dig around in the settings, which I don't have time at the moment. But you can explore these for yourself if you want. Accounts, still the same. Default applications, so here is something new. We have default applications. So from here I believe you can set uh, which apps you want to use for defaults. Uh, this is used for launchers and so on. For example, here you can set a default app for music, for messages, for the launcher and so on. Lastly, let us get into about device and see what we have here. So finally, Android 4.4.2. Let me tap on the build. There we go, KitKat on the Galaxy S4 Mini, an official build from Samsung. And as for the camera, for those of you who might have been hoping to see some new presets here for shots, for example, something like this here, a sound and shot, rich tone, nothing new here, nothing new in the options as well. So you still have the same options and settings for the photos, for videos, and uh, the overall settings for the uh, camera. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, everyone. This is actually my first time trying out this firmware, I haven't exported yet, and uh, if you want to download it, check out the link in the video description, uh, soon I will post the Knox free variant, I have already removed Knox and currently I'm uploading the file, you can find the download link in the blog post, and watch it, that's pretty much it.
and that is everyone i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed already please do so as there will be more helpful videos like this in the future also i would highly recommend to check out this other channel that i have i do app reviews i comment on things i show you uh, various tips and tricks on stuff so yeah, you can check it out if you like once again thank you for watching everyone and i'll see you next time goodbye